Hi, I'm Ian Riley, one of the partners here at Fishers, and I'm really excited to be telling you that we are now back in our Unit R offices, which is our new building, and the doors are open again. Um, we've obviously all had quite a long time in lockdown, and our Unit R was closed for many months, but along with the rest of the world, uh, we are slowly getting back to normal, hopefully, and so it's great news that we've got some staff back in the office full time and we're now open to visitors and, uh, and the clients. Um, now obviously although we're open and that's great news we do obviously have to comply with government guidelines and, and all the requirements um, so there are different measures in place from previously. Um, the first point is that although we're open to clients and, and visitors that is by pre-arranged appointment only if, if anyone wants to come and see one of our um, advisors. People can pop in to drop off documents and provide identification which is a standard procedure for all of our, um, our transactions. Um, but yes, and any meetings have to be pre-arranged and obviously rather than sit waiting in our waiting room we are going to be asking people to wait in their cars until the allotted time for their meeting. Um, we've put hand sanitizer stations at our doors, so as soon as people arrive they can um, use the antibacterial. Uh, our receptionist is now behind a screen, it's obviously a clear perspex screen and hopefully not too intrusive and you still get to see her smiley happy face, um, but obviously that's just a, a standard protection measure for reception. Um, the meeting rooms, although we've got four meeting rooms, we're only using two of them, which are the two larger rooms, and that's simply because there's more space to allow for social distancing. We've switched off our air conditioning and we have all of our windows open, um, again, just to ensure there's a flow of air and, and in line with government guidance. In terms of the people that are in the office, not everyone is back. Um, some people are choosing to continue working from home and for those that are in, it's obviously limited numbers and we're just ensuring that those people are sat more than two metres apart. Um, desks are now offset, nobody sat opposite each other, so just all those little steps that we've had to take to make sure that everyone uh, stays the, the regulated distance. Um, unfortunately, our socialising breakout area for lunch is closed um, for obvious reasons, but uh, we do have extra equipment around the office as well so that when people do use communal things like the photocopier um, it should be wiped down before and after use. We've got face masks available for visitors because it is compulsory for them to be worn uh, when we're having our meetings. Um, the building's also getting a full deep clean every evening uh, after we've all gone home and every time a meeting room has been used that gets cleaned immediately after. So we're doing everything we can and hopefully that's going to make sure that our building remains a um, coronavirus compliant place and we can all continue working from here for the foreseeable. Um, it's quite important that we're all back at the office, it makes things easier and obviously everyone likes the, uh, the, the family friendly atmosphere of uh, seeing their colleagues and socialising a bit more. So hopefully we'll see you all soon and thank you for watching.